Timmy knows no one was up there. And she's just waiting for everyone to leave so she can turn Timmy and Tabby into shish kebabs. Be quiet. I'm trying to think of a place where we can hide. Why don't Timmy and Tabby go to Warlock Island with the kids? There's no way we can go to that island. Last time I was on that island, I gave the wrong scepters to the warlocks and they all exploded. Jimmy still doesn't know how Princess managed that one. It was a simple error. Anyone could have made it. But the point is, if I ever go back to that island, I'll be destroyed. And you'll go down with me. Then Princess better think of something soon, or Jimmy and Tabby are dead meat. The old lady and her kid dragged you through the sewer, Norma. And they disrespected me time and time again. Oh, it's time to make them pay. Don't worry, Father. I'll make sure they pay. With their lives. I promise you, Grace. David Hastings is nothing but a nutcase. He saw your picture in a magazine and decided to come to Harmony to cause trouble. Tammy knows so much about me. He knows about my twin sister, Faith. He knows my maiden name is Dennis. He even said the last time he saw me, I was on my way to Boston. I mean, it must have been soon after that that I was trapped in the fire, I had amnesia. I mean, it's the night you rescued me and we met. I told you, honey. He read all that on the internet. After our house imploded, there was all kind of press about us including information about your past. He knows I like honey in my tea. Didn't read that on the internet. <sighs> it was a lucky guess. Maybe. David Hastings is not your husband. I am. And once Eve finishes his psychiatric exam, we'll have proof. This guy's crazy. I hope you're right. I am. You're my wife. And nothing. Is ever going to change that? Tanu Sam put you up to this. He wants to prove that I'm crazy so that Grace won't talk to me. I'm just doing my job here, Mr. Hastings. So if you don't mind, maybe we could get started. This test is just going to prove that I'm perfectly sane. I am Grace's husband, and nothing, not even this test, is going to change that. I know why you keep staring at Charity. It's because you're thinking of that story that Reese told you about the two cousins in love with the guy. I'm sorry, Simone. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, please. You see yourself, Charity, and Miguel in the starring roles, don't you? What, are you a mind reader now? Well, let's see. Hmm. The two cousins, right, are in love with the same guy. That would be you and Charity. And let me just take a wild guess who the guy is. Miguel? Okay. Fine. Simone, what's wrong with that? About a million things. The cousin who can see into the future dies. You think Charity's gonna die, don't you? On Warlock Island, and you're gonna end up with Miguel. You said it, not me. But you're thinking it. My God, Kay, what is wrong with you? I mean, you just got your soul back. Don't you remember how awful it was when you didn't have it? Now you're just gonna put a black mark on it. No, Simone, you're wrong. I'm not gonna do anything to Charity. Fate will. And if she's meant to die, then it's not my fault. But if she does, then yeah, I'll have Miguel all to myself. <laughs> you look worried. Do you still think Catastrophe is going to come to Sheridan and Teresa? I see death hovering over Sheridan. And I can't shake the feeling that something really big is going to happen to Teresa. Like what? I don't know. It comes from an unexpected source, and someone or something is going to tear Teresa's life apart. Oh, what a shame. 
Since the double wedding never happened, Ethan missed out on a night with the luscious Teresa. Excuse me, Julian. You not notice that your fiance is sitting here right beside you? <laughs> I'm sorry, Bex, but nothing even comes close to your assets. <laughs> there, that's much better. Now, enough of that tramp. Don't you have to uh, figure out a way to kill Sheridan? I'm well aware of that. <clears throat> Father wants Sheridan dead, so Louise won't gain access to the Crane family secrets. Well, have you come up with a plan yet? <sighs> Not quite yet. That sister of mine seems to have nine lives since she didn't put the poison wedding ring on. She's still alive and kicking. Well, you better come up with something quickly. Or Alistair will never reinstate you as heir. Just have to figure out the details of the murder. When I do, Sheridan is as good as dead. I repeat, an unidentified female body has been discovered in an abandoned warehouse downtown. In other news... Oh, God. Oh, God, no, not my little no, girl. Please, please. Oh, God, what if that's why Teresa has a cold? What if... Don't she... even think it. I can't, I can't lose Teresa. I mean, she's my life. I look, everyone, let's just calm down, okay? Mama, I've got every cop in town looking for Teresa. If something would have happened, they would have called us. Louise is right. We wouldn't hear about it on the radio. It's, someone would call us. Oh, God. What if that's police? What if something horrible has happened oh, to them? Yeah. Is that... save you and your princess now. I'm going to chop you both into pieces. Why did he come to Harmony? I mean, of all the people in the world, why me? Because he's crazy. There's no logical reason for anything he does. Trust me, not a word that comes out of David's mouth is true. You're not married to him. How can you be so certain? After I rescued you from that fire in Boston, you had amnesia. Exactly. I mean, I, I can't remember anything from before that night. Okay, hear me out. Even though you couldn't remember anything, you were certain that there was no special person in your life that you were free to be with me. Yeah, you're right. I was certain that. What if I was wrong? What if I wasn't free to marry you? I know what you're thinking, Dr. Russell. Excuse me? You were expecting a madman, because that's the way Sam described me. But now, now you can see that I'm just a normal guy, can't you? Maybe it's better if I ask the questions, Mr. Hastings. And you have another feeling, don't you? I don't have any idea what you're talking about. Oh, I think you do. You know that if Grace wasn't with Sam, I'm just the sort of man to whom she'd be married. What's the matter, Charity? Are you having another vision? <gasps> Charity! Charity, what is it? Something terrible has happened. I see death in harmony. Hey, 
What if that's bad news about Teresa Luis? I'll get it. I'm sure everything's fine. Hello? Oh my God. Oh. oh no, maybe that was Teresa's body they found. Maybe Teresa is dead. Shh. Luis, who is it? It's Teresa, she's fine. <sighs> you see, I told you she was fine. I don't know what I'd do if something had happened to her. Well, you'll never have to wonder, because we are going to have that double wedding before you know it. <laughs> Teresita, thank God you're okay. I've been worried sick. I, I just wanted to call and let you know that I'm okay and that I love you. Teresita, please, just tell me where you are. I'll check in with you later, Mama. Bye. Teresa, wait. Ethan is here. He wishes to... Teresa? She hung up. Is she okay? Uh, where is she? No, she's fine. Um, she just didn't tell me where she was. She wants time alone to think. No, uh, but I have to talk to her. I have to tell her that she misunderstood what I was saying to Chad. Uh, that I was saying that I didn't want to marry her right now. I mean, I still love her. I still want to work this out. Look, man, you'll get to say all of that to her very soon, all right? The important thing right now is that Teresa is all right. That's right. I think we can all rest a lot easier knowing that Teresa's okay. Right? No, I won't rest until she's back by my side. Ethan, look. Man, why don't we go back to my place, all right? We'll change out of these monkey suits, and then we can try to figure out where Teresa is with more clear heads, all right? Not to mention more comfortable shoes. I'm staying here until she calls or comes back. Look, I think you should go with Chad. You'll just make yourself sick with worry if you stay here waiting. All right, fine. But as soon as you hear from her, you have to promise me that you'll let me know. I have to talk to her. Of course, Ethan. I love her so much. I, I, I want to tell her that. Miss Fitzgerald, Teresa is going to be just fine, okay? Thank you, Whitney. You are such a good friend to mm -hmm. my Teresa. Thank God Teresa's safe. Because I don't know what I would do if I lost her. You don't have to worry about that now, Mama. Yeah. I think we can all rest a lot easier knowing that Teresa's okay. Yeah. Sheridan should be honeymooning six feet under right now. And since she isn't, I have to do the dirty work. What are you gonna do? Shoot her in the street like some John Wayne movie? I know perfectly well that I can't kill Sheridan and Harmon. Luis and Sam Bennett would be swarming around me like horseflies. Yes, you would be the first one they suspect. But what are you gonna do, my pookie? I have to find a place where I can control the police force, bribe them into not investigating the crime. Mm. I love when you talk cops and robbers. You'll love it even more when we play cops and robbers, you wish. <laughs> Fortunately, right now, I must stay focused. Sheridan is going to die. And I'm the one who must kill her. They're both fine. I mean, we just heard from Teresa, and she's okay. Okay. I'm so glad Teresa's okay. I know you're also worried about her. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it was pretty tough for a while. But, you know, now that we know she's okay, I can go to Warlock Island. <laughs> That's awesome. I May mean, Gallup, the trip wouldn't be the same without you. Thanks. Are you sure that Sheridan and Teresa are okay? I can't shake this horrible feeling that I have. I promise, Charity, they are both fine. Charity, dear, you look very upset. What's the matter? I had a horrible premonition. It was as if I saw the face of death. Um, Charity, did, uh, this premonition didn't have anything to do with Warlock Island. If it didn't, Blondie's radar is off. That island's full of unspeakable horrors. No. 
It had nothing to do with that. I saw death right here in Harmony. Wait a minute. I think I know why you saw death. Earlier today, I was listening to the radio, and there was an announcement about um, someone finding a body in an abandoned warehouse. Miguel's right. I got a call about the situation at the warehouse from one of my men. No, that's not what I'm feeling. It's as if death is close to somebody that I know, someone very close by. Oh, Cherry sees death for Jimmy and Debbie. <laughs> well, alright, Mama. You caught us. <laughs> no apologies necessary. I am sure this is not the way you envisioned your first morning as a married couple. Well, call me crazy, but at least expected to be married. If everything had worked out smoothly, we would be on our way to the airport right now, ready to catch a flight to Bermuda. <laughs> our honeymoon. Honey, with everything going on, I forgot to call and cancel the trip. I don't think that's possible. Remember, the tickets were non-refundable. Oh, damn. I hate to lose money, but uh, I just wouldn't feel right going on our honeymoon not being married. I guess you're right. So, how are we going to spend our first day as an almost married couple? Well, we can go back to the cottage and get some rest. I'm sure we could both use some of that. That sounds wonderful. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, we can't go to the cottage. Remember, I hired workers to redo the plumbing while we were away. The, the place is probably a wreck. Oh, well, we're batting a thousand here, huh? First no honeymoon, now no home. Well, it, you're more than welcome to stay here. Miguel and Kay are on their summer trip to Warlock Island. <laughs> uh, thanks, my mom, but uh, I just think Sheridan and I need our space right now. We could get a hotel room. I think we should really be saving money. Well, what are we going to do? For the next week, we have no place to stay. Yo, Ethan, why don't you come to my room and change out of that thing, man? You can borrow some of my clothes. All right. And I figured afterwards we could um, shoot some hoops. Hey, that always helps me when I'm stressed out. That's probably a good idea. OK. But Whitney, if you hear from Teresa, please come and get me. Oh, yeah, I will. I'll see you later. Okay. Mom. Bye, guys. <sighs> Teresa? It sounded like Whitney said Teresa's name. Maybe she's in there. Teresa, are you in there? Whitney, you can't tell me that I'm here. I'm not ready to see him yet. What? <laughs> Did you say Teresa's name? Is she here? Um. Uh, this girl could get a man in trouble with the body on her. Careful, Julian. This gun is loaded. What is it with the Cranes and the Lopez Fitzgeralds, anyway? I mean, first there was Ethan and Teresa, then there was Luis and Sheridan. Why don't you just, uh, take up with Pilar? Now that you mention it, there is something naughty about that maid's uniform. <laughs> it's your idea, Bex, not mine. Well, I didn't mean it. Next thing I know, you're going to be asking her to join us in the boudoir. Mr. Crane? Uh, one moment, please. Yes? These were just delivered, Mr. Crane. Ah. <laughs> eh, what are we here? We have... Oh. Yes. 
My divorce papers. Once I fly down to the islands, I'll be rid of Ivy for good. Ah. Oh, more beautiful words were never spoken. Yes. I'll head down there once I figure out how to kill Sheridan. Like how you will. You head down there and sign these papers immediately. I want you to divorce Ivy and marry me as soon as possible. But father wants me to kill Sharon right away. How can I do that if I'm in Bermuda? <laughs> well, it looks like we're homeless for the next week. What should we do? Sheridan, if I may, I think I have a solution. We already know that this is all right, so why don't you go ahead and go on your trip to Bermuda? I don't know. My mom just didn't seem right to go on a honeymoon before the wedding. Well, think of it as a pre-wedding trip. You know, she might be onto something. You both have been through so much already. I think you deserve to get away. And besides, everything's already paid for. If you don't go, you'll lose your money and the trip. She has a good point. A <laughs> tropical getaway sounds like exactly what we need. And don't forget, you already took vacation time for this week. Okay. <sighs> All right, I am not going to stand here and argue with my two favorite ladies. <laughs> Looks like we're going to Bermuda. <laughs> it's going to be an amazing time. <laughs> but first, you have to get there, and if you don't hurry, you'll miss your flight. Well, luckily, our bags are already packed. I just have to go to my room and grab oh, them. Oh, this trip is going to be perfect. I can hardly wait. Well, at least Sheridan and Louise are happy. I only wish Teresa could be as happy with her relationship with Ethan. All right, Teresita. Where are you, Mia? <sighs> Why did you say Teresa's name? Is she here? Ethan, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was just thinking out loud, you know, wondering where she could possibly be. I, I'm sorry. No, I, I understand. Uh, I've been doing that myself. But just remember, if she calls you, I'll be outside with chat. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye, guys. Later. I knew I could count on you. I know, Ethan has been devastated ever since you ran off. You should have just talked to him. It's okay. I can't face him right now, not after what I heard him say. Oh, no, honey, honey, you were wrong when you heard him say that he didn't want to marry you earlier. What, what, what do you mean? He just meant that he couldn't marry you right away. But he still loves you. He wants to marry you, Teresa. <laughs> Why won't Lola go away? She's crazy, that's why. And if we don't stop staring out of this window, the Bennett Bunch are gonna think we're crazy too. But Chubby, they already think you're crazy. I can't stand it. I have to see what that axe-wielding wacko is up to. Once Sam and Grace and the kids leave, we can't stay here. Or Norma will slice us up like deli meat, that's for sure. Hey, you guys, if we don't get going, we're gonna miss the boat. Yeah, after last year's prom boat fiasco, I could use a little fun in the sun. And I'm sure that nothing could possibly go wrong on Warlock Island. Hmm. That Ross always thinks he's so smart. But Mr. Know-It-All has no idea what's in store for them on that island. You sure you still want to go on the trip? I know you're upset about your visions. Oh, no, I'm positive. I don't want to disappoint everyone. And besides, I didn't have a single bad feeling about Warlock Island. Okay. <laughs> see? I told you, Charity can't see into her own future. Just like the girl in the story. From now on, I'm tuning you out. <laughs> Well, we need to get down to the station and meet Eve. So if you guys are ready, I'll walk you guys out. Oh, I'm ready. I'm more than ready. Come on, troopers. It's time to get this adventure started. All right. Cool. Thanks, honey. Everybody got everything? Mm -hmm. All right, so. Thank you. 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 
<laughs> I don't see Norma anywhere. Maybe she's decided to vacation with her father elsewhere. Timmy's not well on the bed on the vibes. I have an idea, Timmy. We'll walk down to the dock with the brats. And if we haven't seen our sanity-challenged friend by then, we'll hightail it home. Leave it to Tabby to come up with a killer plan. Hey, kids, wait! We're going to walk down to the dock with you. We want to say bon voyage! <laughs> bon voyage is right, Tabitha. You and your little friend are about to say bon voyage to your lives. <laughs> Sorry, Sam, but according to the test, David's perfectly sane. I have actually been married to him. No. I don't give a damn what the test shows. I know he's lying. We'll give him a polygraph test. So you really think that'll work? Absolutely. And once he fails the test, you won't have to listen to anything he says again. He'll be out of our lives forever. Did Ethan really say that, that he still loves me? That he still wants to marry me? Yes, honey. He wants to work everything out. <sighs> I mean, I, I can't believe this. I was so sure that Ethan never wanted to see me again. Well, now you know the truth, okay? So get yourself out there and talk to your man. <laughs> Since Ethan found out he wasn't a crane, his life has been devastated, and it's all my fault. If I hadn't scanned Ivy's letter to my computer, well, that tablet never would have gotten that story. But you didn't send that information. Ethan knows that. He believes you. But that doesn't matter. I have to start taking responsibility for my own actions. That email was sent from my computer, not to mention the fact that I knew he wasn't a crate and I didn't tell him. But Ethan understands that you just didn't want to hurt him. And your mother even told you to keep the secret at first. But once the story finally came out, you were just afraid of losing him, honey, that's all. I know all that, Whitney. But I can't look Ethan in the eye until I fix this mess. When that tabloid story came out, Ethan lost his whole life. You can't give Ethan his life back, Teresa. You can't make him a crane again. Yes, I can. I can make Ethan a crane again. What are you talking about? All I have to do is talk to Julian. I know I can convince him to get Ethan back into the crane family, and once I do that, everything will be perfect again. I want you to go down to Bermuda immediately and divorce that frigid wife of yours. Yes, but what about killing Sheridan? Remember, Julian, that a wife cannot testify against her husband in court. And since I already know all about your little plan to kill your sister, perhaps you should marry me right away. You have such a way with the words. <laughs> yes, I, I shall head down to Bermuda right away. Mm -hmm. But you're going to have to answer to Alistair while I'm gone. He'll have questions about the delay in killing Sheridan. Oh, don't you worry. I can handle your father. just wish I could get this whole murder business over with. The delay is wreaking havoc on my beauty sleep. <laughs> Well, this won't take long. All you have to do is fly down there, file the papers, then you can come right back home soon. I suppose you're right. I just wish there was a way I could go to Bermuda and kill my poor sister at the same time. Bermuda's definitely calling our names. We're going to have to run or we're going to miss our flight, Mama. Oh, have a good time and enjoy yourselves. We will.
Luis, be careful. We will, but uh, we're going to Bermuda. Nothing bad could possibly happen. So. Maybe we managed to lose her too. Happy oh. oh. feel too soon. There's no one. And she definitely has her ex with her. Shh. I did. Hey. You know, I can tell you're tired. You should just hang out with Jessica. We'll go get the rest of the gear. No, 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 no. I, I want to help. Come on. You've been through a lot lately. You know, you should take it easy. Charity better enjoy her time with Miguel now, because once we get to Warlock Island, anything can happen. Do you ever listen to the horrible things that come out of your mouth? This one, I'm not gonna do anything to her, Charity. I'm just patiently waiting for fate to intervene. Hey, come on. Let's get the rest of the stuff. You heard Miguel. Sit down and relax, Charity. Oh, no. Give me this. Come on. <laughs> In case you're unfamiliar with this, this is a lie detector test. It's going to prove that you're a liar. Actually, I think it's going to do just the opposite. Grace is finally going to realize that I'm telling the truth. That I'm a husband. All right. I've heard about enough from you, Hastings. You aren't her husband. I am. And now I'm finally going to prove it. My vision was so horrible. There's so much pain and suffering. Who's suffering? So many people. Sam and Grace, Ethan and Teresa, Sheridan and Louise, even Tabitha and her doll. Jessica... So many people are going to suffer. Terry and Terry finally got away from that crazy Norma. I shot Timmy, someone's coming. Well, that's the last of the supplies. Okay. Warlock Island, here we come. Woo! Oh, oh my God. I can't ever set foot on Warlock Island. It'll spell disaster. Stay on this boat, then we're headed to that blasted island, and if we get off the boat, Norma's sure to cut us up into tiny pieces. So all Timmy and Tabby can do is decide how to die? By warlock? Or by ants? Did you say you're gonna go talk to Julian Crane? I'm going to convince Julian to reinstate Ethan to the Crane family. I'm going to help Ethan get his life back. Wait, wait, just... But Julian has such a horrible reputation when it comes to women, Teresa. And need I remind you what happened last time you guys were in Bermuda? Yes, those glorious eyes are open. I could lose myself in those two dark pools of passion, and we'll, we'll both lose ourselves. 
give in to the deliciously wicked sins of the flesh. That was totally different, Whitney. I am not going to Bermuda. I'm going to be safe right here in Harmony. Are you sure about all of this, Teresa? I am positive. Nothing is going to stop me from helping Ethan get back what he lost. Okay. Fine. I know better than to argue with you once you've got an idea in your head. I get Ethan his life back, everything is gonna be all right. I know it will. Uh, oh! Would you stop drooling over that damn girl? You have to figure out how to get rid of Sheridan. I was merely feeling sorry for Ethan. No man should miss out a night with that sweet young thing. <laughs> Julian Crane. Julian, it's Sheridan. I just wanted to let you know that I'm having work done on the cottage this week. It's yours. You can turn it into a homeless shelter if you like. Uh, where will you be staying? Well, even though the wedding didn't happen, Luis and I are still going to take our honeymoon vacation to Bermuda. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Uh, you two kids have fun. Bye. Dare I ask what your dearest brother said? He said to have fun. Huh. Well, that will not be a problem. I can't wait to get away from Harmony. It'll be Julian or Alistair or anyone else that'll hurt us. It seems that Luis and Sheridan are headed for Bermuda. Which means? Which means? With Luis and Sheridan there, everything will work out perfectly. I can divorce Ivy and kill Sheridan. My dear sister is as good as dead. <laughs> 